uh, I want to recognize our distinguished chairman, Chairman Schiff. Thank you, Chairman Carson, for convening this vital discussion. Uh, pleased to join in welcoming the witnesses here today. As our president recently confirmed, domestic terrorism is one of the gravest threats to our values, our democracy, and our security. It is imperative that this committee and the American people understand the scope and complexity of the domestic terror threat and ensure we equip our intelligence community with the resources needed to counter it. Because this threat is complex, coordinated, and evolving, our response must be also. We must continue to improve our understanding and sharing of threat information, find ways to diffuse and de-escalate recruitment for an incitement of violence, and confront the causes of and contributors to domestic terrorism, including the extreme and violent ideologies often fomented online through disinformation and false narratives. We must also acknowledge the persistent role white supremacy and white nationalism have on the frequency and severity of these threats. It is an indisputable fact that a growing proportion of domestic terrorist threats arise from people driven by hatred and a stated desire to harm people because of the color of their skin or their religious beliefs. This hatred-based violence is heartbreakingly not new in America. Our history has long been marred by racially motivated threats against communities of color and other marginalized groups. But we are seeing a sharpened edge to the threat, an increasingly persistent and coordinated effort to terrorize based on these repugnant views. In short, it is imperative that we proactively identify these threats, break the online radicalization cycle, and bolster the resources necessary to keep America safe. This is not an effort undertaken solely or even primarily by the intelligence community. It will require close coordination among federal, state, and local law enforcement, as well as collaboration with private sector partners, particularly in the online space. Uh, Mr. Cohen, I'm encouraged by your public commitment to work with the private sector on identifying patterns of violence amplified online. While we must ensure that appropriate IC agencies are able to contribute to the mission of combating domestic terrorism, it is equally important that this committee continues its sustained rigorous oversight of any instance where those efforts could impact Americans' civil rights and civil liberties. Last year, the committee launched an investigation following serious allegations that the Department of Homeland Security's Intelligence and Analysis Office may have played a role in violating First Amendment's uh, rights during DHS's response to unrest in Portland, including by collecting intelligence on journalists. This committee will continue to prioritize oversight to ensure that appropriate reforms are instituted and fundamental civil rights and civil liberties remain protected for all Americans. I'm grateful for the witnesses' testimony today and look forward to our discussion. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.